Hey, good afternoon. Um, Michael Fiss with uh, Tri-State Live on Facebook. Today is Thursday, July 23rd. Um, we'll take just a, a few seconds here to get people, give people a chance to get, get logged on. Um, you know, anybody that's on now, feel free to send any questions or, you know, make sure that, um, you know, you can see and, and hear me okay. Um, if you're driving, please, once again, um, you know, turn this off and, and, and wait till you're not driving, you know, to watch this, um, you know, this will be recorded and, and put on our YouTube channel as well as here on Facebook as well. Um, we'll take just a couple more seconds and, and while we're taking those seconds, I'll let you know, we're now in monsoon season. That means there's some wind and, um, some rain. And I'm assured by those that live in Joplin that um, this is just called a, an average Tuesday, you know, for the rest of the country. But uh, here in Phoenix, when it rains and winds, it feels like a, a big deal. So anyway, um, Matt Clarita, hi, Dan Magnuson, hi. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here. Um, you know, there's just a few things I want to I want to touch on. But once again, if you have questions or things that you want to talk about, send it in, you know, you know, either in a comment or email me and, and we're happy to, um, you know, have those conversations, um, you know, on things that are, that are important to each of you, um, you know, as well. Um, first, I want to share, um, you know, our, our retention and production bonus Um it's, you know, this is our second year that we've done that. And so, um, so uh, many of you have received two of these bonuses. Um, but in July, um, we're paying out another 84,000 to 16 drivers, um, which essentially equals over $10,000 um, combined, you know, per team, you know, uh, you know, paid out, you know, in a lump sum, you know, some bonus. Um, you know, we're, we're delighted to do that. We're, th you know, thrilled to do that. I mean, it's, um, um, we've had some really cool stories of what, um, you know, you know, some of you have done with the money, whether it's a down payment on a house or, um, you know, buying, you know, a new vehicle. Um, you know, some, some of you are paying for tuition for, for your kids or your grandkids, you know, type of thing. But, you know, if you're doing something cool with the money, let us know. I mean, you know, we love to share, you know, some of the things that, um, you know, you guys are doing with the with, with this bonus money. But, um, you know, 84000 um that's a lower amount. I mean, last month, I think we paid like 120 or something like that. Um, you know, but um, um, if you don't know what that is, if you're new enough where, you know, you don't know what that is, you know, essentially, you just have to be with us for for 12 months. And, um, you know, at, at your anniversary mark, you know, we take all the miles that you've driven, both empty and loaded. And, um, and, and, you know, you get uh, multiplied by four cents and, and you get that as a, as a, you know, lump sum bonus, um, at your, at the end of your 12 month anniversary. So anyway, um, you know, I just wanted to share that with you. And again, if you have stories, you know, um, you know, shared with us for sure. Um, a couple of messages from safety, and, and then I want to try to share a video with you. I don't know if it's going to work out well or not, but you know, it's, um, I want to try to do some different things, you know, uh, you, you know, you know, with, with this form that we have, um, a couple of things from safety, you know, we, we're noticing a trend to the not positive, you know, where we're getting, um, you know, some, some speed issues, um, particularly in construction zones, um, you know, again, posted speeds change, you know, in construction zones, make sure that you're aware of those and, um, you know, and, and following, you know, the posted speed, you know, uh, limits, you know, there. Um, you know, the other thing that we're seeing as well is uh, some traffic control following distance, um, you know, and and we define that um, as under less than one second of, um, you know, following distance is, is, is too close. I mean, you know, we all know from, you know, you know when we got a driver's license at 16, you know, years old, two seconds, um, you know, is the recommended, um, you know, gap, you know, but, you um, but, um, you know, we, you know, we, we track the ones that are under one second and we're seeing, you know, some increase, you know, you know, that as well. So, you know, we're professionals, you know, and, and just as a reminder, you know, to be aware of that. Um, and so, you know, a segue to this, 
you know, I, I think it's useful if we share, you know, some, you know, trends or, you know, the specific, you know, incidences that we're seeing, you know, we're never going to share names, we're never going to share, you know, truck numbers, you know, and that kind of stuff. But, um, but, you know, again, transparency, right? I mean, you know, we're, we're committed to being more transparent, um, you know, type of thing. And, and so we just kind of share these numbers, share these data, share these trends. But I want to share this video with you and, 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 and we'll see if we can do it. OK. And I want to get your comments and feedback on your thoughts on a couple of things as you watch this. You know, you know, who's at fault? You know, as you see this incident um, and and how could it have been prevented? You know, and and, you know, if you were to put yourself in our shoes, you know, with, you know, Donnie, you know, as a safety, you know, you know director, Kevin Zahn, you know, yeah, you know, anybody's looking at this is how, how are we supposed to react you know, to this as a company? So hold on a second. Give me a second. Let me see if this will work. I think it should. But um, I want to get things lined up here. You know, here. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is um. Yeah. Hold on a second. Okay. So you see a truck, you know, pulling into um Love's fuel station to get fuel. Hopefully you can see this. Okay. So you know he's coming up on the fuel line. And, you know, there's a truck that you know, on the right there waiting to get into a fuel line. You saw that a truck just exited, you know, fuel island. And then look what happens here. So the truck stops, but still it's in that blind spot turning area. And then it gets crunched, you know, right there. So um, were you guys able to see that okay? I mean, it's, uh, I've never tried that before. Um, any any comments or thoughts? You know, uh, you know, you know, as that happens. So, so you know, as we you know get dealt with these kind of situations, you know, the questions we have to ask is, you know, is this preventable or not? You know, clearly, you know, it is preventable. And then, you know, who's at fault? You know, is is it the driver? You know, perspective there is is it the is it the truck? You know, that's pulling to the fuel island. Um, you know, you know, so so those are some of the things that, um, you know, that happens that, you know, we have to make, de you know, determinations and decisions on um, my feeling, you know, on that, um, you know, is that, you know, it, it is preventable. Um, you know, and again, I'm not speaking for safety here. I mean, you know, safety, you know, that does their own reviews. But I, but as I see that video and I see what's going on there, you know, my feeling is, is that, you um, um, you know, that that's, you know, something that, that, that could have been been avoided. Now, whether, you know, was, you know, who from, you know, the perspective of the truck turning or, you know, the truck, you know, that we're seeing the video from, you know, who's at fault, you know, there's probably room, you know, for debate there. But, but you know, those kind of things happen. And like I said, I think, you know, both drivers could have avoided that situation, right? I mean, it's, um you know, the, you know the, the driver that we saw the perspective from, you know, needs to be aware when you go through the fuel, you know, islands like that, you know, I mean, trucks are going to get, going to do weird things, parking lots, you know, drivers are going to, you know, do weird things. Um, you know, when I drove, you know, I had two somewhat major incidents and, and they were parking lots, you know, related, you know, type of thing. I mean, you know, you let your guard down or you let your, you know, um, you know, you're distracted by something else, you know, there. So, so, you know, those kind of things, you know, just be aware, you know, that, um, you know, how, um, you know, it could be avoided. You know, the other truck that we saw that was turning left into the fuel island, you know, I, I, clearly didn't check, you know, his mirrors, you know, before, before it made the, made the turn, you know, now does he have the right of way? Does the other driver have the right of way? Those are things that can, you know, be debated, but ultimately, you know, two, two drivers, what, you know, it, it could have been avoided, you know, um, you know, their type of thing. So, so it's just, um, if that's, you know, useful, if you like seeing those kind of things and, and having the chance to talk it through, um, let me know. I mean, you know, we'll share, share more of those. Um, let me get caught up on some comments here. Um, uh, someone's making fun of me about the monsoons. I think that's Riley uh, making fun of me about the <laughs> about the monsoons here. Um, uh, 
uh, Veronica is called, hey, you know, okay, now is not the form, form for that, but um, but I am happy to talk with you. Um, um, I'm trying to see. It's working. Okay, so is, uh, I'm getting comments that you guys are seeing, did see the videos. Hold on, I got to read it. So Lynn, number one, he's going too fast. I agree. I think that's you know part of that too. Number two, we should have waited for the other truck to pull into the fuel island. Common courtesy, um, definitely preventable, hands down. You know it was his fault. You know there, and 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 I and I think that's a reasonable perspective, Lynn. You know the question is is you know should the other truck have gone? You know I mean you know I mean it, it's you know. You know, if he checked his mirrors before he started his left hand turn, he would have seen, you know, you know, the truck coming. Right. So so there's another perspective there. Um, you know, you know, Nathan should have given the right of way that was already there. It shouldn't be that much of a hurry. And again, I think that's that's reasonable as well, um, you know, there. So, um, you know, Ray, you know, as well, should have waited, you know, his turn. Um Anyway, you know, it's it's but those are kind of the things, you know, that, that we have to assess and, and make, you know, you know, decisions on. And, you know, it's, it, you know, it, Rosa, you know, communication is key. He should have made contact with driver horn, uh, horn or CB and let them know his plans. Was he trying to park? And that and that's fair, too. Right. I mean, you know, when when we're in a fuel island situation, parking situation, things are, you know, um, you know, different, you know, than when you're going 65 mile per hour down the road, um, you know, being predictable is important. But anyway, if, 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 you know, if you like seeing that and would like to, us to share more of those kind of things and have those discussions, you know, you let me know. Happy to do it. Um, okay. Um, I want to talk about, you know, again, you know, every week, every you know day, maybe, you know, um, you know, there's, there's something, you know, COVID or, or social justice or, you know, um, you know, things going on, you know, with the police and and it's, um, you know, again, you know, we we want to be sensitive, you know, for sure, you know, for those that, um, you know, are, are in the middle, you know, of these various situations. Um, you know, we try to be aware of, you know, those who are dealing with, you know, um, you know, coronavirus, you know, within their families, you know, um, you know, um, you know, themselves, you know, thankfully, I think we've been very lucky, you know, that um, we've only had, um, I think it's still just two drivers, um, you know, and, and very little, you know, of our, you know, tri-state roadmaster group, ATCO, um, you know, um, you know, employees and family members, you know, you know, be, be afflicted. Um, you know, there. Um, but but it's part of our life, you know, and, you know, Cheryl and I are, are just observing and noticing that um, it's becoming more and more heavy, you know, where life is just becoming heavy, you know, and and um you know, it's, I think all of us that think we're introverts, we're finding that we're much more extroverted than we thought, you know, we're finding that we needed more social interaction, you know, than we thought we needed, um, you know, previously. And so, you know, my message here is, is twofold. One, you know, be, be self-aware, you know, now, you know, you know, we all have pride and we all have, you know, egos and stubbornness, and I'm just fine. I don't need help. You know, we all go through that, you know, there. But but let me sh share maybe another perspective. I mean, it's, um, you know, I promise you, I guarantee you that you've got friends and family members that are feeling the same pressure and heaviness and, and you know, just the, you know, incessantness of, of you know, everything that we're going through. I mean, you know, 2020 is, is a unique time, um, you know, in my lifetime, you know, of, of what's going on, you know. And so, you know, you're driving. While you're driving, take, you know, 10, 15 minutes and, and reach out to, to somebody, you know, and and just engage with them. Ask them how they're doing. You know, even if you yourself are fine, you may have a perspective, you know, that um, that you can share. I know when I was driving, you know, I, I would tell people, you know, you know, normally you say, well, yeah, I've given this some thought. I said, well, hey, listen, I've got about 3000 miles of thought into this, okay, you know, and, 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 you know, here, here's what I've been thinking. And, and you guys can probably relate to that. I mean, you know, you spend hundreds and thousands of miles just, you know, dwelling on things and thinking about things, you know, share your perspective in a healthy and appropriate way, you know, with your friends and family members, because I, I bet you there's a many of them that just feel the need to talk as well, 
but they their pride and their you know whatever won't allow them to to reach out to others as well you know so so be aware of that be sensitive to that i want to share you know in, with that you know real quickly a perspective from uh, cs lewis and and if you're familiar with the books and the movies chronicles of narnia you know that's probably where you've heard of cs lewis um, but, you know, he, he lived in the industrial age, the atomic age, you know, I mean, it's, um, you know, when the atomic bomb was first developed at post World War Two. And he's referring to the atomic bomb and the fear, you know, that the atomic bomb created, um, you know, at that time, you know, and my dad, who's 70 years old, you know, talks about that, you know, he, he you know, was a teenager during the um, Cuban Missile Crisis. And he just kind of accepted as a matter of fact that, you know, there's a chance that, you know, nuclear war could, you know, you know, devastate the world, you know, type of thing. But C.S. Lewis, you know, is talking about the fear around the atomic bomb, you know, and, and he makes perspective and say, hey, listen, 400 years ago, you know, all of London, you know, was dealing with the Black Plague every year, you know, type of things, you know, so they lived under fear, you know, and the Viking Age, Scandinavia, you know, um, you know, was living in constant fear of Viking raids, you know, and so whether it's disease or science or, you know, man-made issues or whatever, you know, each generation deals with fears and problems. But here's where I want to start quoting C.S. Lewis exactly. He says, this is the first point to be made. And the first action to be taken is to pull ourselves together. If we are all going to be destroyed by an atomic bomb and, and 2020, we can say if we're all going to be destroyed by COVID or, or social injustice or whatever, let that bomb, when it comes, find us. Let that bomb, when it comes to find us, will find us doing sensible and human things like praying, working, teaching, reading, listening to music, bathing the children, playing tennis, chatting to our friends over a pint and a game of darts, not huddled together like frightened sheep and thinking about bombs. They may break our bodies. A microbe can do that, but they need not dominate our minds. And and listen, it's hard to get away, you know, from from all of these things, you know, that we're seeing and experiencing. But I think that perspective, you know, if we can, you know, you know, be self-aware enough, you know, to to adopt it is to, you know, let's live our lives the best that we can. I mean, you know, and the mass now or I'm sorry, the, the our lives now include masks. Our lives now, you know, include social dis distancing or, or whatever. But if we can put that into, you know, a, a perspective and, and resume, you know, what the good things about life is, then, then perhaps it can help us get over, you know, the heaviness and the oppressiveness, you know, that, that we are all feeling, um, you know, you know, the, you know, the last few months, um, Cheryl and I, you know, we were talking and, and we've each had individual conversations with, with people that, we never expected to, you know, because, you know, they were feeling very emotional or they're feeling very, um, you know, just overwhelmed, you know, by, you know, the day to day to day, you know, things. And so, you know, let's be there for, for one another, reach out, you know, to one another, you know, um, you know, you know, listen to one another, you know, talk to one another. But at the same time, you know, try to keep that perspective, you know, and, and not huddle together like frightened sheep. Um, you know, but go through our life the best that we can, you know, because there's a lot of really good things and cool things, um, you know, that, that's going on in this world as well. So, you know, with the election coming and that kind of stuff, I mean, it's there's going to be more drama that, you know, there's going to be more, you know, um, quote unquote issues, you know, to continue to, to deal with. But, um, you know. You know, as as Becky Etheridge shared, at least we're we're out. You know, as drivers, you know, out and about and not trapped inside. And yes, that's um that's a great perspective. You know, there. I mean, you know, it's um. So anyway, um, you, you know, I just wanted to share that thought. With that in mind, um, I want to share with you um a couple of other things, and and but I'm, but I want to leave from a different perspective on that too. Um, if you don't know by now, um, you know, loves as well as Walmart, as well as, you know, many big box retailers, as many cities and counties and, and even some states have gone to mandated masks. Well, and loves, you know, uh, you know, truck stops is one of those companies, you know, that's done that. Um, other truck stops, to my knowledge, have not, you know, done that yet. But I suspect, you know, there's a good chance that, that they'll probably head into that direction. 
Well, I've had some drivers, you know, respond, you know, back, you know, to that. Well, we're we're just not going to use loves, you know, and and we'll just, you know, use use other truck stops, you know, there. And 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 sure, I mean, you know, that is a a right that you have and a perspective, you know, that that you have. Yeah, and I mean, you know, because masks are mandated, whether it's the the retail location, you know, or not, in so many places, it's almost immaterial. But I would offer this perspective. I mean, you know, there, there's a reason why, you know, we, we've asked you and um, all to use Loves as your preferred fuel stop. I mean, obviously we have others, you know, Pilot, Flying J and, and others that are, you know, uh, you know, that's within, within our network. Um, but as a company, you know, we're better off, you know, each time you're able to use Loves. Now, does that benefit you individually? Again, you know, you know, I understand where you say, you know, if you're an owner operator, you, you, see, you see the exact, you know, fuel, you know, benefits, you know, but if you're a company driver, you're going to get paid the same, whether you feel like loves or flying J or, or pilots or, or, or whatever, um, you know, type of thing. But I hope you understand that it is more, you know, nuanced than that, that you do directly benefit, you know, by saving the company money. And when you use Love's Truck Stop, you do save the company money, um, you know, and, and and I hope that you, you know, feel, you know, that um, that gets reciprocated back to you in various bonuses and, you know, the COVID appreciation relief pays, you know, uh, you know, we've got, you know, driver appreciation month coming up, you know, and, you know, Riley, um, and I and, and others are having conversations about, you know, how to do, you know, best recognize that. And so, so, you know, it's, it, you know, you, you do have a direct impact, you know, on those kind of programs, you know, there. And, and again, I understand that there's politics to the masking and I understand, you know, that there, you know, that, that there's confusion about the science, you know, about the mask, you know, whatever. I'm not trying to get involved in any of that. Um, all I'm sharing with you, you know, is that, you know, let's not, you know, let's not um, cut off our nose to spite our face, right? I mean, it's, um, um, you know, all of us have to have a mask, you know, with us, you know, most of the time in most places anyway, you know, and, and, you know, I think it's a little short sighted to say, well, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to hurt the company. Um, I'm going to hurt the, you know, um, you know, you know, the opportunity, you know, for me to participate in the well-being of the company by choosing to 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 not, you know, you know, um, you know, use loves, you know, in particular here. Again, that is your right, you know, and and, you know, and so forth. But 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 I'd encourage you to at least consider that perspective. Um segue, you know, you know, to that, um, you know, I'll just share with you that the company has weathered, you know, the COVID, you know, um, you know, downturn really very well. And if you see, you know, how other companies, you know, they're starting to report their Q2 earnings, um, most or all, you know, companies are shrinking. I mean, you know, there's a major carrier today, you know, that's um, that released and, and they're shrinking by 15%. Um, you know, the, um, um, uh, there's another one, uh, a pretty significant company that I just found out today that they're shrinking, you know, their fleet by 200 trucks, you know, and so, you know, we, we've done well and, and not only are we doing well, but we're, you know, looking for opportunities and engaging opportunities to continue to grow. And much of that, I mean, and I dare say most of that is the credit to each of you as drivers and we appreciate you. I mean, it's, um, you know, and so, and, and so, so know that you are valued, know that you are appreciated, you know, um, but each small action that, that I do individually, that Riley does, that Jake Moffat, I see here, each of you as drivers contribute to the overall, you know, bottom line and to the top line. You know, I mean, it's um, one of my favorite shows, you know, about 20 years ago when it came out, you know, as Band of Brothers, you know, and the challenges that they all went through, you know, but the but the success and the and the and the prosper that they experienced as a group, you know, even though that individual, you know, obligations, responsibilities um, to their, you know, the Band of Brothers, you know, if you haven't seen it is about, you know, World War Two, um, uh, you know, group, you know, uh, you know, during, well, soldiers during World War Two. Um, you know, but anyway, it's um, I just want to share that perspective, you know, with the, with each of you that's, you know, and, you know, we are our own band of brothers. And, um, you know, th there's things that I agree with that we do. I, there's things that we I agree, don't agree with, you know, nonetheless still do. 
and support my boss and support, you know, John and Russ and my leaders, um, you know, type of thing, even though I may not totally agree with it, you know, and so, um, but, but at the same time, we're also a company that we're willing to engage in those conversations, you know, I mean, if you feel like, you know, as a driver, you see us going down a direction that is harmful to us, you know, raise your hand and engage, you know, I mean, probably not, you know, here on Facebook Live, you know, but call me directly. OK. And, 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 you know, if there's a perspective that you feel like we're missing, you know, I'll share it. And I've had one on one conversations with most of you, um, you know, it, um, you know, there. So anyway, just wanted to share that thought and perspective as well. Um, let me go through some questions here um, or any comments. Um, Um, well, so yeah, I don't see any real specific questions, you know, or, or subject matters to talk about. But again, just know we appreciate each of you, the work that you're doing. You know, the company is, is doing really, really well. I'm proud of, you know, our, our efforts. Again, I mean, especially when I see, you know, other companies shrinking, you know, we continue to grow, you know, and, and it really is, you know, a, a tribute to, to each of you. So we appreciate you, you know, and, um, you know, be safe, you know, especially for Phoenix. I mean, there's wind and some rain. <laughs> no there so stay safe thank you